Hi, I'm Jay Tyler. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how I solder a two-armed RPE screw using nickel silver solder and a titanium probe. Now, all this month, if you use the promotional code J, you'll save 10% on anything we have for sale on our website. That's ortholabvideos.com. We sell the silver solder and the titanium probe I'll be showing you in this video. So let's go in the lab and do some soldering. Here's the finished appliance. Now it's hard sometimes when you have wires coming together like this to get the solder to flow all the way around underneath and everything and get the parent metals completely covered in solder. So let me show you how to do that. Here's the appliance on the model, waxed in place. The ends are tapered, they're roughened up. This is ready to be soldered. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the heat protective compound on it and we'll solder it. I've got heat protective compound over all the parts I want to protect from the heat and I put it over the crowns because I don't want the heat to get the crown hot and turn it dark and that way I'd have to polish it so this will protect that keep it from happening. I've got my torch, my propane oxygen torch and I've got my solder, the nickel silver solder, got my titanium probe and I'm ready to go. So what I'm going to do, I've got the flux on there already, I'm going to heat up the flux and then put some solder on and use my probe to move the solder around. Alrighty, here we go. So we're heating up the flux. Now the freestanding wires are going to get hot first. So I'm going to have the solder ready to go and to put on the freestanding wires. Okay, here we go. And then the crown, since it's up against the plaster model, it's going to get take more heat to get it hot. So there's enough solder to sweat the joint. Now I'm going to take my titanium probe, I'm going to heat the solder up again, just to the point where it melts. Then I'm going to back the heat away, and I'm going to use the probe kind of like a paintbrush and paint that solder all around, make sure I've got a good surface of the nickel silver solder adhering to the stainless steel crown. Now I just go in and add the bulk. And I want to completely encase all the wires. Okay, there we go. Let's go over here to the other side. I'm going to try to keep my hand out of it <laughs> this time. So you can see what's going on. Okay, once again, heating up the flux. The freestanding wires are going to get hot first, so I'll have the solder ready to go on those as soon as it gets ready. There we go. And take my probe, melt the solder, and move the solder around, completely covering everything, making a nice broad surface, a lot of surface area for the sweating of the nickel silver solder. Okay, let's take a closer look at that. See how well sweated that is. I've got a lot of contact area of solder to the stainless steel crown. Actually, that stainless steel probably has some nickel in it, which is a good thing. I know the wires especially have nickel in them. So here we go. I'm just building up the bulk. Uh, if I can keep my hand out of the way. Okay, everything's completely encased. That should be a very good solid solder joint. Now, microscopically, if you could go in there, you would see that there are molecules from the parent metal, that'd be the uh, wires in the stainless steel crown, that are in the solder, that nickel silver solder, and there's molecules from the nickel silver solder that are in the parent molecule. So if you got nickel going to nickel, it's a very good bond. This is a very good solder. It not only does a good mechanical bond, but it also does a chemical bond. So that's why I like this nickel silver solder. Here's the appliance. I cleaned it up a little bit. I haven't polished it yet. I just wanted to show you the solder joints and the adhesion to the parent metals. Now on this side you can see real well where the 
the sweating goes down here and it goes all the way down to the margin of the crown and then the bulk was added on top of that and you can see the border there now that makes it nice because I don't have to cut this out if I had just put a bunch of solder in there enough to encase the wire yeah, I would have had to cut this out and then you take a chance on exposing subsurface porosity and leaving bubbles in your joint but now really all I have to do with this is just hit it with the rag wheel or the brushes whatever you use to polish it and that'll be pretty much it. I've got to uh, you know smooth off the edges of the crown and uh, smooth off the edges of the wire and uh, then polish it up and that'll be about it. So um, check out our website ortholabvideos.com you can buy this solder there and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you next time.